purpose of this study is for the US 67 corridor from the Presidio International Bridge, 142 miles north to Interstate 10. Predominantly focused on safety because we we're over the rural crash rate in Texas for this segment. And there's been a lot of recent changes and developments in the use of the roadway in terms of freight and international freight, as well as local traffic. If you're not doing everything you can safety-wise to, to help protect people and, and make the road as safe as possible, people like me aren't doing their job. So we want to position ourselves where we can be proactive with this plan so we can predict what kind of traffic we'll have 20 years from now on the corridor um, and bracketing those numbers with some if-thens so that the estimates used for future planning are as accurate as they can be. So I'm flying a, a drone over a couple of intersections here in Alpine where the firm is looking at it for the client for potential options of redesign. So what we're doing with the drone is we're capturing hundreds of high altitude digital images. So after we finish capturing all the data, we'll take uh, that and we'll use it to create uh, 2D orthomosaic, uh, 3D models. They can uh, use that as part of the design and then that will also be used as part of the animation uh, for the 3D model and put into our HoloLens mixed reality platform. From my experience, but it really matters to, to engage the public and educate the public. Um, you know, what is guardrail? When do you put it up? Why, why do you put a stop sign here? What's the traffic signal for? Uh, this is public involvement done the right way. By creating these 3D animations and the subsequent HoloLens walkthroughs, they'll be able to experience the actual intersections at scale in the real world. And the public will be able to walk through these intersections and actually understand what they're seeing. This is going to save you time. It's going to save you uh, money. It's going to save on processes.